Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes. We are just going to see what comes up. Uh, this reading is not time specific, and it is not sign specific, so it may or may not be for you. I've just started a new segment, uh, three month forecasts. Um, Taurus is done. So that'll be for the next three months from the date that you watch it, starting with a full month, okay? Libra has been done, and it is compiling now. So uh, the next one I plan to do is Sagittarius. I don't know why I have chosen that order. Well, I know why I chose Taurus, because, you know, I'm a Taurus, and typically I choose Taurus first just because. Just because it's a gift to myself. So, it is what it is. Anyhow, um, let's get started. The Hermit Reversed. Now, the Hermit Reverse can be a midlife crisis, it can be a rejection, it can also be coming out of hiding, it can mean so many things. So to me, when I see this card, there is a need, there is a need to reflect, or there is a need to uh, go down a new path, okay? Could go either way. I feel like we have somebody here that has been in a period of waiting, a period of reflection, and it's like time. It's time to take that step. You notice the light is not lit. The light is not lit in this card. It looks to me like he's getting ready. He's getting ready to take that step. Okay? So I really feel like, you know, it, it's really time to take that step, you know. Um, I think the time of reflection is just about over. King of Pentacles. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Doesn't have to be. It could be a Virgo, could be a Taurus, could be a Capricorn, could be anybody else. But it looks like we have somebody here that is really discontent. Okay, this guy doesn't look very happy. And I'm saying guy because it's on the card, okay? This could be anybody. Um, this person doesn't look very happy, not very content, doesn't really have anything to hold on to yet. But it's like the universe, God, angel, spirit says, I got something for you. All you got to do is take it. This is a gift. Do you want it or not? Nah? Just take it. This person may not realize that the opportunity is there, but the opportunity is absolutely there. It's there. So it feels like this person is loathing. It looks like this person is loathing. Uh, he doesn't look very happy. He doesn't realize. He doesn't realize that there's a golden opportunity here. He's not seeing the light. He's not seeing it. We have somebody here that is not seeing that there's a golden opportunity waiting for them to take it. So interesting. Ooh. Well. Same kind of situation here. This, this person isn't seeing, you know, that this could grow. It could grow into something passionate. Not even seeing it. This person is. This person kind of sees it, but out of the corner of his eye. This person kind of sees it, but hasn't grabbed onto it yet. Hasn't taken action. This person doesn't look very happy either. So I don't know if this is the same person or if it's two people. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be two different people. This the. It's like both people are waiting. Maybe both people are waiting for the other person to take action. Somebody needs to take action. <clears throat> Interesting. Mm. Four of Cups reversed. Now this person, 
um, is actually seizing an opportunity here, taking it, taking it. This person is actually drinking from the cup. Not realizing. This person isn't realizing that they could, they could be missing a better opportunity. Somebody could be... Uh, what the hell? Four of Cups reversed. This is somebody that may be indulging in something that isn't good for them and they are losing their chances for a relationship. Because the Three of Cups is a relationship. It's happiness. It's friendship. I feel like we have somebody could be over drinking, drinking too much or partying too much or, or medic, self-medicating themselves, not seeing that they have a golden opportunity here. It's like they're missing it. Hmm. They could be trying to escape some sort of reality as well because the Ace of Pentacles is a card of reality. So, whew. We got we got one person here that is ready. This person is is very much ready. This person is self sufficient, uh, enjoying life, doing quite well. Uh, has worked hard to uh, nurture herself or himself. This person is very stable, secure. This person. Um, isn't even looking. It's like this person isn't... We have two people watching this person. Two people. This person is very, very abundant, has worked really, really hard to take care of themselves. This person may be looking up here at this earth sign. doesn't have to be an earth sign. This person, they may be looking at this person, but this person isn't... Neither. Nobody's taking any action. This person is looking at the ten of pen looking at this one to get the ten of pentacles. So it's like, yeah, I'm looking for forever here. I all I want something stable. I want something secure. I know my value. I know my worth. They, I will settle for nothing less than that than than something solid to get my ten of pentacles, my happily ever after. If it's not solid, if it's not stable, if it isn't going to build a solid foundation, then I don't want it. So it appears to me that we have two people looking at this very self-sufficient individual. This person could be a business owner. This person, uh, if they're not a business owner, this person works really, really hard. Um, this person can grow anything. This person has taken really good care of themselves. Uh, this person isn't really... This person is fine on their own. Very independent. Very independent energy. So we have two people looking at this person. This person is look, looking up at that, that. That person sees. This person sees a golden opportunity. But this person also knows their value and knows their worth. This person doesn't go chasing. Okay? Because this person has learned. This person is self-sufficient and is just fine. This person doesn't need somebody to take care of them. This person can take care of themselves. So this person isn't going, and don't, I don't want to hear any comments about this person, this person, this person. Fuck you. Anyhow, now that I got that out of the way. Anyhow, this person right here. Is not going to settle for anything. And is not going to go chasing. This person is not desperate. So if you are that desperate individual, this ain't you. Okay. Page, this is a lost opportunity. Page of Pentacles reversed. Somebody needs to find their focus. Somebody needs to take a step. Otherwise, they are going to lose the golden opportunity because this person is so abundant and has so many options, somebody's going to snap them up. So this is somebody not following through, losing an opportunity because they can't focus, they can't concentrate, they're not taking any steps. 
So we have somebody here that is probably going to lose a golden opportunity with somebody who <laughs> is very valuable because they're stuck. They're sacrificing themselves. They're wasting their time. They're, they, they can't come out of their head. They're overanalyzing too much. Somebody's, that's what this is, come out of hiding. Come out of hiding. Stop thinking about it. Take action before you lose the golden opportunity. That is my message. Somebody is going to lose an opportunity for happily ever after to have something solid, to have something stable, because they are reluctant to take action. They, I don't know, this person is very confused. Sa wasting time, sacrificing themselves, staying in this state of limbo for no reason at all. This person ain't happy either. So, somebody isn't happy. It's like they want this opportunity, but they, this is reluctant, reluctant to take a step. Just hanging there, watching and waiting. Fearful. Maybe fearful of rejection. But, the universe is saying, I got this opportunity for you. You asked for it. Find your confidence. Find your courage. Go get it before somebody else does. Make that move. Make that offer. This is a welcome offer of love. This is like... Cupid, okay? This is like Cupid bringing you an opportunity for love. What are you waiting for? Take it. Drink from the freaking cup. Take it. Take this opportunity for love. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Could be dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have a very worthy individual here who is ready and waiting for something solid. She is wait, waiting for the one. And she will not settle. She's not going to chase. She's too valuable. She's worked really hard to overcome struggle. And she's done it by herself. There ain't no way in hell she's going to chase. Not this one. Three of Wands, getting prepared, but not seeing. We got somebody here that is really over analyzing things, and it's like th their their ship is about to to pass right by. If you don't take it while it is in front of you, it will be gone. Five of Pentacles. This is abandonment. Not seeing that there's an opportunity. There is an opportunity here. Go get it. Follow the light. Go where it's warm. Go where there is love. Don't sit outside in the cold. Don't stay in the cold. You're, uh, you are letting yourself. There's a way. Go find it. Five of Swords reverse. There's fear of rejection here. There is. There's competition, right? Worried about the competition. 
You're worried about the competition? You're going to let the competition win? Somebody is going to let the competition win because of their own inability to take action. They're going to lose the opportunity of a lifetime when all they have to do is find their strength and their courage to step up to the plate and grab this opportunity before that boat sails away because if you don't see it while it's in front of you it will be gone somebody is about to lose an opportunity to somebody else and that's what we got here you snooze you lose Hierophant. We could be dealing with a Taurus. This is a card of commitment. This is a card of faith. Believing in yourself. Listening to your higher power. Following your gut. Having faith. So I feel like today is a day where somebody is needing to believe in themselves they're needing to put themselves in the game before it's too late five 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 expect the unexpected life is about to change this is about fives are about life choices conflicts Conflicted about change. Conflicted about choices. Five, five, five is about divinely guided, divinely guided major life choices that will involve you changing your direction. Massive change is upon you. But you're going to have to find your ability to get unstuck from your own mentality. Look at things from a new perspective. Believe in yourself. Come out of confusion. Stop wasting your time hanging around and doing nothing is going to cause a loss. If you don't take action, somebody else is going to. There is an opportunity for love here. Don't let it pass you by because of your own insecurities. Yep, somebody's going to lose an opportunity. These are both insecurities. Believe. Believe. Believe in yourself. Have confidence in yourself. So anyway, I feel like today is a day uh, where somebody could be, could be receiving a message from somebody who, it's almost like they suddenly decide they suddenly get some sort of message, some sort of message, you know, that it's, they need to take action. They want to put themselves in this game. They want to be a contender. Somebody's about to seize a new opportunity for love. It's like they because it's such a it's such a opportunity for stability, you know? And 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 there's it this is like an opportunity for love, big love. So I feel as though something may be slipping away. Okay? Love may be slipping away because of somebody's inability to take action. Somebody's, you know, somebody may be still trying to prove a point. 
proving a point isn't going to get you anywhere. You will lose this opportunity for love. So anyway, I feel as though somebody's going to receive a message. A tender, romantic message. Or they may be sending a message. This is a message of love that will be welcomed, okay? It's a welcome message of love. This person is just waiting. Waiting. Both people are waiting. But in tradition, in tradition, you think about the Hierophant. The Hierophant is very traditional. In tradition, and I don't care if it's the 20th century or whatnot. It's the masculine that takes action, not the feminine. If you think about the caveman days, you think about the masculine. They love a challenge. And when you are easy, what happens? They don't stick around. That is still the fact for today in the 20th century. If you are easy, if you are an easy woman, expect to be discarded. Anyhow, we have a very valuable independent person who ha is being watched by two people. Two people. Looks like neither one of them are taking action. Somebody's about to lose because of their inability to come out of their head. And that is what I got. Love is going to slip away. It's going to swim right away if you don't take action. Good luck. And if you are that easy woman, I feel sorry for you. <laughs>